In this quick training nugget, I'm going to show you how you can have multiple singing faces on something like a matrix or a mega tree. So I'm going to do it on a matrix here, but uh, you can use the same idea on a mega tree. So you see I've got a matrix and I've already created multiple layers here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to have a, a duo singing together. Okay, so first thing I do is drop a singing face onto one of the layers and this is an elf and the functionality we're going to be using is this buffer this buffer is depicting where the singing face is going to be or you know not just the singing face this applies to all other effects as well so because I'm going to want them side by side I'm just going to right click on this buffer I'm going to choose halves and I'm going to choose right half and you can see it's moved to the right hand side of the prop. I'm now going to drop another face onto another layer. Okay, if I made this back to a normal size, you can now see we've got another elf. I'm going to change it to a male elf. And now I'm going to do right click, halves, left half. And there you go, we have a duet. But we can take this one step for further. Imagine we had a song like one of the pentatonic songs and we wanted more. We're not restricted just to the size. So we're going to do more of a custom element now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop five singing faces on and then we're going to adjust these accordingly. So I've got my five singing faces now in place let me just make sure all these are aligned okay so we've got our singing faces in place and the top one i'm going to move this into the top left of the screen so just manually now resize the buffer and I'm just going to put it like this. Okay, and you can see that is the elf girl. I'm now going to do the next one, but this time I'm going to move it down to the bottom corner of the screen. Okay, your screen will sometimes go black like this while it re-renders. But that's not a problem. Okay, now I'm going to take the next one. I'm going to change this now to Wallace. And I'm going to make this one fill the center of the screen. Just like this. Okay, and then the final two. I'm going to change this to Grinch. Again, I'll use the buffer, but this time I'm going to move it to the right hand top corner. This. Go, and then. And obviously you would size these accordingly. I'm just uh, doing this quickly for the demonstration. And then the final one, let's change this to my pumpkin face. And again, I'm going to now move it right to the bottom corner. This. And there we go. You would now just allocate the appropriate timing tracks and you would have a full set of singing faces. So I hope you find that useful. Until next time, see you later.